Mackenzie's last fight with the Cheyennes, a winter campaign in Wyoming and Montana, by John G. Burke is a compelling historical account of a significant military campaign that took place in the late 19th century. This book provides a vivid portrayal of the winter campaign in Wyoming and Montana, shedding light on the complexities and challenges faced by General Ranald S. Mackenzie and his troops as they engaged in a relentless battle against the Cheyenne Native American tribe. Through meticulous research, vivid descriptions, and insightful analysis, Burke offers readers a deep understanding of the historical, cultural, and strategic aspects of this campaign. The book is set against the backdrop of the American West during the late 1870s, a period marked by violent conflicts between Native American tribes and the United States government. At the heart of the narrative is General Mackenzie, a seasoned military officer with a reputation for ruthlessness and an unyielding commitment to securing the western frontier. Mackenzie's determination is reflected in his decision to undertake a winter campaign against the Cheyennes, a strategy intended to catch the tribe off guard when they were least prepared for conflict. Burke presents Mackenzie as a central figure in the campaign, emphasizing his leadership, military acumen, and resolve. One of the book's strengths lies in its detailed descriptions of the harsh winter conditions that Mackenzie's troops faced. Burke skillfully conveys the frigid temperatures, deep snow, and challenging terrain that characterize the winter campaign. Readers gain a profound appreciation for the extreme physical and logistical challenges that the soldiers encountered. Through Burke's vivid prose, the bitter cold and the constant struggle for survival become palpable, immersing the reader in the brutal reality of winter warfare. Burke also delves into the cultural and historical context of the conflict, offering insights into the Cheyenne tribe's way of life, their motivations, and their formidable warrior culture. The author paints a nuanced picture of the Cheyennes, dispelling the notion that they were simply savages, and instead, emphasizing their strong connection to the land and their desire to protect their traditional way of life. This cultural perspective adds depth to the narrative, allowing readers to understand the complex dynamics at play in this clash of civilizations. Furthermore, Burke explores the strategic and tactical aspects of the campaign, providing a detailed account of Mackenzie's military decisions and the Cheyenne's responses. The author dissects the various skirmishes, ambushes, and confrontations that unfolded during the campaign shedding light on the evolving nature of the conflict. The book reveals the ingenuity and adaptability of both sides as they adjusted to the challenges posed by the harsh winter conditions. Throughout the narrative, Burke demonstrates his commitment to presenting an unbiased view of the events. He acknowledges the brutality on both sides, making it clear that war, in any context, results in suffering and loss. This balanced approach adds depth to the book and allows readers to draw their own conclusions about the moral and ethical dimensions of the conflict. Mackenzie's last fight with the Cheyennes also addresses the broader historical and geopolitical context in which the campaign took place. The book discusses the government's policies toward Native American tribes and the increasing encroachment of settlers into traditional tribal lands. Burke highlights the role of the military in enforcing these policies, shedding light on the complexities of westward expansion and its impact on Native American communities. In conclusion, John G. Burke's Mackenzie's Last Fight with the Cheyennes, a winter campaign in Wyoming and Montana, is a meticulously researched and vividly written historical account that offers readers a multifaceted understanding of a pivotal moment in the American West. Through the lens of General Mackenzie's winter campaign against the Cheyennes, the book explores the challenges of winter warfare, the cultural and historical context of the conflict, and the strategic decisions made by both sides. 
Burke's balanced portrayal of the events and his commitment to historical accuracy make this book a valuable resource for anyone interested in the history of the American West and the interactions between Native American tribes and the U.S. government. Overall, this book is a captivating exploration of a little-known chapter in American history and a testament to the resilience and determination of those who participated in this brutal winter campaign.